All right, let's talk about something that's been a real headache for a lot of us. I'm talking about that frustrating memory hogging issue in the new Proxmox 9. If you've just upgraded and you feel like you're pulling your hair out, well, you've come to the right place. This is your guide to getting things back under control. So let me guess, does this sound painfully familiar? You were all excited, you upgraded to the shiny new Proxmox 9, ready for all those new features, but instead, your virtual machines are just unstable. They're freezing or even worse, crashing completely. Yeah, you are definitely not alone on this one. In fact, if you look online, the forums are just flooded with people reporting this exact same thing. It's the spiral where RAM usage just keeps climbing until it's triggering the dreaded out-of-memory OOM killer in crashing VMs. It's a total system meltdown, and it is incredibly frustrating. Okay, first up, the Proxmox 9 RAM nightmare. Let's really dig in and understand what's going on with this memory crisis. To really wrap your head around how wild this is, just imagine a server with, say, 196 gigs of RAM. That should be plenty of breathing room, right? Well, people are reporting that launching just one virtual machine can make its KVM process eat a jaw-dropping 120 gigs of that RAM. And if you launch a second one, whoop, there goes another 60, pushing you to 180 gigs. It's just completely unsustainable. And this, right here, this is the core of the nightmare. It all comes down to a huge change in behavior. With good old stable Proxmox 8, if you gave a VM 32 gigs of RAM, but it was only using eight, the host knew it was only using eight. Made perfect sense. But with Proxmox 9, that same VM instantly grabs the entire 32 gigs and just holds it hostage, whether it needs it or not. So what in the world is going on here? Why is Proxbox 9 suddenly eating all your RAM? Let's unravel the culprits. After a whole lot of digging, the community has basically put together a list of the main suspects. We've got memory ballooning that's just gone wrong, a ZFS cache that's growing way too big, some tricky complications with PCI pass-through, general KVM overhead, and, you know, the out-of-memory killer just doing its job a little too aggressively. First up is ballooning. Now, this feature is supposed to be the hero. It's a really clever trick where the host can basically ask a VM, hey, are you actually using all that RAM I gave you? And if the VM says no, the host can take it back. It's meant to be super dynamic and efficient. But in Proxmox 9, our hero has turned into a villain. The ballooning just isn't working right. Instead of letting that unused memory go, the system just pins the maximum allocated RAM to that VM. And that means the host can never get that memory back for anything else which is what leads to the whole system starving for resources. Next, let's talk about the ZFS arc cache. Now, it's not the primary cause, but it can be a major accomplice. See, by default, ZFS can decide to use up to half of your total system RAM for its own caching. So if your memory is already super tight because of that KVM bug, a greedy arc cache can be the final straw that breaks the camel's back. And for all you folks doing cool stuff like passing a GPU through to a VM for, you know, gaming or machine learning, well, there's a big catch. PCI pass-through just flat out doesn't work with memory ballooning. It has to lock the VM's full memory from the very beginning. So on Proxmox 9, this just makes the main problem even worse. All right, enough of the doom and gloom. Let's talk about how to fix this. This is your path to victory, to reclaiming your system's memory. We've got a four-part battle plan here. First, we're gonna rethink how we use ballooning. Then we'll slap a hard limit on that ZFS cache. After that, we'll talk about not overcommitting our RAM. And finally, we'll fine tune some KVM and guest settings. Okay, here is an incredibly powerful direct fix. If you use ZFS at all, this is an absolute must do. You just need to edit this one configuration file and add this line here to cap the ARC cache. This example sets it to eight gigabytes. Then you reboot and boom. This one simple change can free up a huge amount of RAM. And listen, a few small tweaks inside your actual VM settings can also make a big difference. Try changing the disk cache mode to none or write through. Be way more realistic with the max RAM you're setting for each VM. And of course, if you're using pass-through for a specific VM, just go ahead and turn ballooning off for it completely. And here's a really simple but absolutely vital rule of thumb stop allocating every last drop of RAM to your VMs. 
Proxmox itself needs room to breathe. The community wisdom has always been to keep about 10-20% of your total RAM free for the host. On Proxmox 9, this isn't just a best practice anymore. It's a survival tactic. Okay, let's zoom out for a second. With an issue this big, you have to ask, is Proxmox 9 really ready for prime time? I mean, this timeline really tells the whole story, doesn't it? Proxmox 8 was the gold standard. Stable, reliable memory usage. Then Proxmox 9 came out, and almost immediately, reports of this aggressive memory allocation started pouring in. So right now, we're all kind of in this holding pattern, just waiting for the developers to release a patch. And this quote right here, it perfectly captures what a lot of experienced users are saying. If you haven't upgraded yet, the most common advice is simple. Just wait. Let the early adopters deal with these headaches. By the time version 9.1 or 9.2 comes out, the experience is probably going to be a whole lot smoother. Which leaves us with the big question. Is Proxmox 9 a flawed masterpiece? Or is it just a work in progress? I mean, the new features are genuinely exciting, but this memory bug is a really serious hurdle. For now, the jury's still out. But with the strategies we've talked about today, at least you can navigate the storm while we all wait for those official fixes. Thanks for joining me for this explainer.